what's not in order. It doesn't know that the part class, it doesn't know that the customer type is not actually in the order record, does it? So if you want to go do a search for orders for a particular part class or a particular customer type, you have to teach the search engine how to do that in SharePoint or whatever, or Fast, or any of the, any of the engines. And it's a, it's a half million dollar model. And so we know our structures. We know that the sales order is connected to the part that's going to sit the part class. And so when we index up the part class, we know how to get to it from orders and parts and things like that. That's why we did our own search engine. And uh, it's fast. And it, um, it basically, that was our first kind of foray into uh, uh, changing the product around. And once we put that in there, once, it, once you have everything in there, you stop using the menu. You stop going here to here to here and opening up and doing a search. You just type it in like you were going into Google. And, and it brings up these records and you click the one you want and then we launch the form. And uh, it doesn't matter that we're only looking for particular you know, orders or particular shipments. I'll figure that out faster than I can get through the menu. And that, and that, that turned out to really be the case. So that was sort of phase one. Phase two is tagging. And, and, and the thing about tagging is it's so blatantly simple it almost looks like we really didn't do anything, but we didn't have to. And the idea is just to say, you can put your own words against anything in the system and then look for things by them it is just really handy. Let me know if I'm running out of time. <laughs> um, and that brings us to the activity streams. And, you know, um, uh, we're still sort of working through this. The way we work, I, I work for the research department, and, um, and so we, we started the, the most important to us the most important thing to us about creating uh, uh, activity streams, you can see contact was added, 1234 was updated, da 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 You know, those are pretty boring and, and uh, they, they don't really give you a good sense of really what's going on. We've been trying to get the engine right. The engine that says, if I want to pay attention to this slice of data that I can A, define it, a mere mortal can define it without having to come up with a big query or get a business activity query out of the system ahead of time. Um, and, uh, and then we're sort of working out the UI. The UI is a preliminary UI, by the way, that, uh, that our research team is doing. And you know, we want to do that last, which is, uh, that's the easiest part is to polish that up. But, uh, so you can see the icons are different here because we've, said, we've tried like nine different kinds of icons for things. Anywho, the, um, the other thing is that, if, that, that since uh, SharePoint can do uh, uh, threaded discussions and it has a lot of enterprise to do a lot of apparently more than can be successfully demoed to me, but a lot of them. The, um, uh, we want to make sure that we have SharePoint in place that you can just use it for a message store. But all this thing does is track changes in the, in the ERP system and makes a note of it. And there's some templates underneath the hood that say, just do this generically and we'll let people opt in and see just what they want to do. Or you can put in specific business situations like credit going on or off hold, something as simple as that. And, and, um, and so there's sort of a publishing side that by default is pretty generic, you know, we'll have it built in there. And then on the, on the front end side, what, what users do is they decide what they want to follow. And they do that using OData, which I'm going to get to in a second as well. But um, that's all we really want to do, is make sure that, that the ERP system is sanely putting messages in and not putting stupid messages in that no one will pay attention to because you really fail. And then secondly, that people can very quickly throw out what they want to and, and watch what they want to. And when they change what they want to watch, they can do it on the fly, and it's retroactive. They see, they see the results right away. 